Return merchandise authorization is standard SAP Business One functionality supported in both the sales and purchasing process, which provides a useful pre-step to your return documents for easy management of the process for returning merchandise to your vendors and receiving return merchandise from your customers. Whether you've received damaged goods from a vendor or you ship the wrong product to a customer, the RMA functionality can help you handle these cases with no issues. On the sales side, RMAs are handled in SAP Business One under the sales module through a document called the return request. On the purchasing side, you will use the goods return request under the purchasing module. Let's look at how to generate a return request from an open AR invoice. Use the copy to function and select return request. Notice how the data copies over to the return request from your AR invoice. You can optionally set up a new warehouse for returned merchandise from your customers to keep these items separated for quality control purposes. Next, you will want to select the return reason for the returned merchandise. New return reasons can easily be defined directly from this dropdown. The return action is also a user definable value. Once you define a return reason and a return action, you can proceed to add the document. Notice when we right-click in the background of the document, there is no option to view a journal entry. There is no transaction behind the scenes with this document, as it is just a tool to help manage the return process before we actually receive or send back the merchandise. Under Sales and Sales Reports, choose the Open Items list. Here we can view our open return requests and we can do the same for our goods return request. Once you receive the goods from the customer, you can use this report to drill down into the relevant return request. Let's take a quick look at the item master data record for our items on the return request. Notice how the system will show the quantity in the ordered column. This is to accurately reflect the availability of the item in your inventory. You can change the quantity on the return request if need be. Now we can use the copy to function to copy the document to an AR credit memo. Once you have added the credit memo, notice how the journal entry option is now available. You can see the customer's account has been credited and the appropriate sales and inventory accounts are reflected as well. Back on the item master record, you can see that the quantity is now reflected in the in stock column. If you create a standalone return request independent of an invoice, you have the option to copy directly to a return. The transaction behind the return document will only affect your inventory accounts. Then, from the return, you can copy to an error credit memo to credit the customer, or you can copy to a new delivery. This is especially useful if a repair was made and you are sending the product back to the customer. RMA functionality is just one feature among many that make up the complete end-to-end -end coverage of SAP Business One. And as an SAP Gold Partner, LBSI knows how to help you take full advantage of it. Visit our website at www.lbsi.com and click the contact link to get in touch with us.